This is the Bulldog 3D. I'm Darren. Today we're going to look at how we can store some of our Bamboo Lab accessories. Things like thermal grease and lubricant. Components for the hot ends, the hot ends themselves, filament wipers and side cutters that you might have. Let's go see if we can find something to print out to help with our storage needs. So opening up Maker World, I can search for Groupfinity. And here we have all the storage cases, all of the storage options up for, for Gridfinity. I'm gonna go see if I can find something for Bamboo Lab. A nice case, there's one item that we could potentially look at, but I don't have a glue stick, so that would be wasted. And something else that's just the hot ends. Something else for just the hot end. This is for Bamboo Lab, but I don't have these tools as I have a P1S. So as I'm searching through, there's hot, more hot ends, some side cutters. Still looking through, still not really what I'm looking for. But eventually I came across this spare parts box. This looks like multiple different bins for different components. Each bin is essentially for one thing. I think covers pretty much all of the components that I would be looking for. So let's see, we got hot ends, filament wipers, side cutters, the lubricants and grease, filament cutter, wire accessories for my needs right now. Look pretty good and pretty promising. Don't have multicolored, but it seems like these multicolors, the main base of the box will print out. And then on a different plate, I wanted to, I could have a different multicolor. So let's give this a go, see what we can do with it. Let me open it in Bamboo Studio. So this is now open. Um, we have nine plates, so on each plate there's each individual bin. It looks like I can get more bin per plate uh, than just the one. Don't have multicolored printing, so let me remove that. I have uh, generic PLA, so let's see if we can start. I have more than one hot end. Let me do one of those, so you can just highlight that, copy and paste, and then I can copy and paste this. Okay, as I'm copying and pasting, Bamboo Lab is showing me that I'm going to have some collision errors. So I'll change this. Print sequence was set by object. So if I do this by layer instead, I don't want to hit any issues with collisions. So I have two hot ends. I have two sets. These those on the plate. A couple of those on the plate. Lids, grease. I have those. Okay, let's see if we can zoom in. And let's try and auto-arrange. Okay. Looking good. Still room on the plate. So let's see what else we can get on there. What do I need? So... Okay. Anything off the build plate? No. All of these things fit on the build plate, and I can print this one at a later date. But let's see what we can do. So now we're going to hit slice the plate. into the middle a little bit and so we have a print time of roughly six hours and roughly 233 grams of filament that's looking good I can print that plate now and we come back to prepare still need the lid for the cutting pliers so let's print slice that plate It's going to take another 30 minutes, 33 minutes. So let me print that plate. So back to Gridfinity, one of the things I also need to do is find some base plates. This one looks interesting because it's customizable. So let me open that. And so we can customize this. Customize it. And so we need some measurements. And I can. Generate. I can put a 5x5 base plate on the Bamboo Lab P1S. So let me download that. 3MF. And so let's see if I uh, change my Bamboo Lab P1S. Cut black. Basic PLA. Undo that. Looks good. So let me slice that plate. So we have roughly just over an hour of print time. Let me print that. Once these are finished printing, you should end up with a nice base plate. And then you have the base part of the bin and a kind of little lid to go with it. So you just slot on there. And we can start building up our Gridfinity base plate for our Bamboo Lab printers.
Now I can start filling up all the Gridfinity bases with my Bamboo Lab accessories. I thought I had some filament cutters, but I don't have them yet. Filament wipers and the screws to go with them. The hot end, screws for the hot end. Uh, this is to secure the temperature sensor onto the hot end. All the grease and the side cutters. Still have room for expansion and I can move these around. So if I get more hot ends, I can put more hot ends in or I can change the configuration around as I print out more Gridfinity bases. That's it for today. I'll leave some links in the description below. Please leave some comments, like and subscribe. Thanks all for watching. Happy printing.